As we all know, engineering is one of the most difficult degrees to get. However, there are certain engineering degrees that are easier than others. Now, there is a video out there where I do talk about the top three hardest engineering degrees, and it was about a year or so ago. The video has become very popular recently, and a lot of you have been saying that mechanical engineering is actually one of the most difficult ones. So I thought it'd be interesting to give an update on this as of 2023. What are the top three hardest engineering degrees? Maybe they change, maybe they haven't, and maybe mechanical engineering is one of the top three. So with that, let's get started. Hello everyone, so for those who are new here, my name is Sarah and I am a software engineer and I got my master's degree in computer engineering. And this channel mainly covers engineering and personal finance. So with that, we'll get into the video. Now I did research on this particular topic on what the top three hardest engineering degrees were. And what I found was very interesting. There was a paper that was released at the end of 2022 and it was recently updated in March, 2023. There were 118 engineering majors that they compared. And based on the difficulty level, depending on the workload, um, what the work consisted of, the subject matter, they determined how difficult each engineering major was and then ranked them across the rest of the 118 engineering majors. And what they found was that the third most difficult engineering major was electrical engineering with a difficulty level of 3.34. Now, the reason why is because the way you think about electrical engineering, you have to think about the circuits, the components, and the electrical current of those circuits. So it's a very conceptual type way of thinking. And because electricity, energy, and current aren't visible to the human eye, it's very difficult for an engineer to conceptualize it and to visualize it and calculate that out when you can't see it. And another reason is, of course, you know, you have to take all of the other math classes. Of course, all that's how it is with all engineers, but with electrical engineers specifically, you have to take those really rigorous um, hands-on type courses that require you to, you know, build the circuit or work on the circuit, um, calculate the current flow, make sure that actual components are working and learning about the processors and the hardware components is not something that a lot of people learn about until they actually major in that field. Otherwise, like in high school or younger, no one actually learns about the components of like a computer or some software or some hardware. So people aren't exposed to it in general and it's basically learning a whole nother field, a whole nother area in engineering that just didn't know about. And so that's a learning curve that increases the difficulty level of electrical engineering. And so the second most difficult engineering major that they found was aerospace engineering with a difficulty level of 3.42. So this is about 0.12 more than electrical engineering. And the reason why is mainly because aerospace engineering is not a very common engineering major to get. Most people who are engineers are electrical, software, um, computer, or they are mechanical engineers. Not a lot of them are aerospace. And that has to do a lot with the fact that Aerospace engineering requires, again, similar to electrical engineering, hands-on and very demanding in that way. You have to be in that area to work on the aircrafts. And so that's probably why aerospace is very difficult, is because it's very hands-on and very demanding. The course load itself is also very complicated because it does involve higher levels of computation, similar to electrical engineering. Now coming in at number one, as the most difficult engineering major as of 2023 is chemical engineering, with a difficulty level of 3.5. That tells you everything you need to know. Chemical engineering is one of the most difficult ones. The course loads are very intense. And once you get out of college, you're going to go into work as chemical engineer and you're going to need to make sure everything is precise, probably working in the medical department, the health area. And that's also a very, very demanding job, as we all know from the doctors and nurses. So those who do major in that degree and actually start working as a chemical engineer are going to be doing a lot of work as well. But as for the major itself, chemical engineering is the most difficult, mainly because it requires both science and math. Science by itself and math by itself are hard enough as it is. And when you combine those two, that just makes it twice as worse. So the course load is going to be much harder. The amount of time to 
study for a test or to take a test will take much longer. The amount of material one would have to cover is going to be much more. I'm not one who has ever been good at science. I actually hated that subject, but because I did major in computer engineering, I didn't have to worry about that too much. I only had to take chemistry one during my freshman year, and even that was very intense for me. So I can only imagine the students who are taking chemical engineering are going through. And if you're someone who's thinking about majoring in chemical engineering, I make sure that you actually enjoy science or are willing to learn both math and science and are a very hard worker who's determined and dedicated to get their degree. Otherwise, if you don't have that mindset, I feel like you could easily fall off the wagon and just not get that degree. And in the last video, I believe the top three were chemical, aerospace, and electrical engineering. I don't really remember the specific order, but it did change. Those are the top three, and I know there were a lot of people in the other video who said mechanical engineering was the most difficult, but I have yet to see that anywhere, and I did do my research. I looked at different websites, looked at different articles, and I didn't see anything at all that said mechanical engineering was in the top three. Uh, maybe it's just because there was a lot more students who are mechanical engineers and because of that they're able to help each other and it doesn't make the course load as difficult, but I really don't know why it's not in the top three. But if you want me to go into more detail about mechanical engineering and the course load or difficulty level of this major, then please drop a comment down below and let me know and I will definitely look into making another video about that. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.